if we want to grow with our relationship with God, if we want to grow as young men and women into adult men and women, you're going to have to risk. There's no way around it. Do you realize the disciples gave up everything? When they followed Jesus and risked, guess what? They found something that nothing else on this earth compared to. One of the activities that we did this week was helping out at a VBS and the kids at VBS, at the beginning they were kind of shy because again, we're just some random people, not from Louisiana. And then as they came outside, they started to warm up to us almost immediately and it was really fun to see. My relationship with the Lord has been a bit rocky throughout the years. I had some rough patches, but around this year, I really started just putting my trust in Him. And I was really nervous to go on this trip because this is very outside of my comfort zone. I really didn't know what I was going to see, who I was going to meet, what was going to happen. I was a bit nervous. He didn't make us to be alone. And I think He wants us to meet these people so that we can grow and get stronger and help others to get stronger in their faith as well. Thank you for the invitation that says, if you follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. If you follow me, I'll give you life and life abundantly. If you follow me, I'll show you something that you will never want to give up. If you don't risk in your life, I'm telling you, you're missing out. It's scary. But I'm telling you, you're missing out on a great adventure. You're missing out on a purpose that God has for your life. It's very eye-opening to see like the homelessness here because you know I go through every day without thinking twice about food, shelter, water. It was like really just eye-opening to see that there, there's a lot of people struggling. One of the things that the people of New Orleans taught me was that even though your situation might not be how you thought God would have it for you, you should never give up on Him. Well, I've, I've been I've, very distant from the Lord for a long time, which I kind of struggle with, and I've been trying to push myself. And this week kind of really settled it in, because a lot of the last couple weeks have kind of been in depression. I love seeing that the Lord was able to help me and then help all these other people, because I think a lot of other people are going through things, and it's just, it's so, it's so nice to see. It really makes me appreciate how much I do have and what the Lord's given me. the way God works, it's just a loving thing. It's a love that's an invitation. He wants you to share that with people. He wants you to give it away so that other people can get to know that love and spread it so that they can get saved by Christ too. I definitely want to help people more and reach out to people who I really don't think I would have been comfortable with because I've gotten outside of my comfort zone here. And I think I can take that back in my life by talking to people who I normally wouldn't have. I'm not going to guarantee you that, hey, you're going to go out and you're going to pray over this person and every person you see is going to be healed right in front of you. But what I can promise you, it's the promise of Scripture, that if you're really willing to risk and you're willing to die to self, if you're willing to risk for God completely, unashamedly, unabandonedly, you will find life.